hello guys uh welcome to a new video um in this video we are going to be looking at excel microsoft excel interface okay now i made a list of the things i want to talk about here okay so they are all here so we're going to be talking about each of them where they are and what they do all right let's begin uh the number one the quick access to buy okay it's located here uh if you look at the top uh, left corner of the interface you will see the quick access to bar now these are the places this this is the place that you keep or uh, the the commands that you use much much often all right now you can choose to remove uh them so if i want to remove a uh, new i can do that i can just click and then it goes up. if i want to add them i'll do that so i i use them much often so i leave them there so if there are other ones that you use much often something like uh, let's say email if you email a lot can, you can just add email and all whatnot okay and if you wish if they are uh, the command that you're looking for is not there you can you can also choose to add by going to more if you go to more commands you will see that you can add uh, more commands to uh, to your document to your to, uh, quick access to by, by customizing okay so you can do that here if you want to okay so that's for two access to bar I mean uh, from I saying <laughs> quick access to bar okay all right. Uh, for the records, uh, it's raining cats and dogs here in Lagos. So, uh, um, if you're hearing too much, too many noise, please bear with me. It's really raining. It has been raining for over 30 hours now. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so let's continue. The second one is the ribbon. Very, very important. I think this ribbon was introduced uh, in Microsoft Office Suite in from 2010 uh, version of uh, the. Uh, I think uh, 2003, 2007, they were talking about, they were using menus and all that for the introduced ribbon from 2010. So if you're using 2010, 2003 version, I'm actually using 2016, all right? So if you're using um, all those, I think you should be able to uh, grab what we're talking about. Okay, so the ribbon. Now, if you look up here, first of all, you see the tabs. We call this one the tab, like the home tab, the insert tab, the page layout tab. We call them tab okay now if you click on each tab you're going to see a ribbon ribbon drops okay under every tab all right now uh let me just double click to make the ribbon drop for each tab all right so um this so for the home tab we have all the ribbon showing here and then for insert tab we have also have the ribbon showing now within each ribbon or within a ribbon we have a group okay command group all right so for home tab we have the clipboard group we have font group we have alignment group we have number group and uh, all whatnot all right and others like a cell and whatever okay and the same thing with tab uh in the, the insert tab within the insert tab ribbon we have the tables we have illustrations and add-ins and others okay so that's that for the ribbon and the command and the command group or simply group okay the next thing that we're going to talk about is the name box now if you hover over here you're going to see the name box okay this name box shows you at every point you click on the excel working space it tells you the address of each cell okay it gives you the address of where you are okay so if i click here i'm in e6 if i click here i'm in c4 that's what it shows us so it shows us the address of selected what cell that's that for name box so the formula bar the formula bar uh the formula bar is located here so if you hover over it you're gonna it's gonna show you the name of that function okay so uh the formula bar it shows us the contents of a cell okay so now i click on c uh, cell c uh, six so it shows me the content which is the name box now if i click on uh f3 it shows me the content okay right so you can actually also edit the content of any cell in the formula bar if you want to all right now um now uh if you look at this uh 
uh, numbers three and four. I did a summation of uh, three and four in uh, this place in H4, okay, which is the total. Now, if you click on H4, you're going to see that um, what is sh what is shown in the formula bar is actual formula of functions on that cell, and that is the main function of the formula bar. It shows you the formula associated with what a cell. So if I click on this second calculation here, it shows you the formula. Okay. Of course, this one shows you the function, and then this one shows you the formula, right? So it shows you the formula which you use to get the total, right? So if I click on this next total here, you find out that I actually did it manually. So it shows me simply the number inside there. It's not going to show me any formula because I didn't add any formula. So that's the function of the formula. But it shows you the formula. You can as well go there to edit the formula if you want to. All right? Good. So let's look at the, the next one. The next one is uh, the row and column, or rows and column. Okay. Of course, by definition, we know that. Let me select this since I've, I've done them. Okay. So by definition, we know that uh, a, a cell is gotten from intersection of uh, column and row. So now, column is always vertical and row is always horizontal. Now let's let me just. Um, uh, probably highlight this column and then highlight this uh, row with a different uh, color. Let me just use this. And then at, at the intersection is what the cell. Okay. So so for each cell here, there's always an intersection of row and column. Are we there? Okay. So that's that for um. A row and column. I hope we understand that simple explanation. Okay, so um, the next thing I want to talk about will be the the cell, an active cell. Now, of course, we know that a cell is formed uh, when you uh, when there's intersection of row and column, right? Which is the all these boxes that we see here, right? Good, they are all cells, right? So, but when you click on any cell. That cell becomes the active cell when it has the ring, the um, uh, the green ring around it, okay, or, or green lines around it, okay. So for each cell, if I click on um, G4, so it, that's the active what cell. It is it is important to know some of these things, but it's going to help in understanding of uh, the work in Excel, okay. So the next one will be the range, okay. Now. When you select one cell, it's an active cell, but when we select more than one cell, we call it a range. So by definition, a range is um, a selection of multiple cells. Okay. Okay, when you select multiple cells, we call them, we call that selection a range. So uh, in um, subsequent lessons, we're gonna see how we can name ranges and all that okay so selection of uh multiple cells is called a range simply a block of what selected cells all right so that's that for range the next one we're going to look at is the workbook and worksheet now um in this environment here that we are we've we've opened a worksheet so this i mean this is a workbook right so this is a workbook but within a workbook we have a worksheet okay so here we are in sheet one if you look down here you this will suggest to you that we are in sheet one so if you want to have more sheets you can click on the plus sign here to have sheet two sheet three and all these sheets are within an excel workbook okay so that is that for Excel sheets, uh, Excel, Excel worksheet and workbook. So this is Excel uh, workbook, and within a workbook, we have we can create more worksheets. Okay, let me just delete them. Okay, so of course you can you can rename the worksheet if you want to. Like this is seven, you can either double click on it and then rename them, or you can just right click right there and then go to rename, and then you can rename your Worksheet. Okay, I don't really want it, so I'm gonna let it go. All right. So that's that for workbook and worksheet. Okay. Uh, 
So we're going to look at the number 10. We're going to look at the worksheet view option. Okay. Now, if you go to the uh, bottom right here, you will see the um, the worksheet view option. Okay. So now, pres presently, I'm in the normal view. So, and we have the page layout view and we have the page break view. So you can use them depending on the kind of work you're doing. Like now, I just chose the um, the page layout view. Okay, so depending on what you want to do, so you can also choose the um, the page break, uh, the page break view. So it depends on what you want to do. So just to when you're working, you have to see how your pages are um, are displayed or aligned, so I'll be able to know how you're going to print and all that. Okay, good. So that's that for the uh, worksheet view options. And then we have the Almighty Zoom uh, control. Now, next to the, the, the uh, worksheet view options, you're going to see the view control here. All right. So you can either um, zoom in or zoom out if you want to. All right. Depending. Some people cannot see very well. So probably you may need, you may need to uh, view. Uh, I mean, you can zoom in. Okay. You can zoom in or out. Okay. You can slide as a matter of fact. You can slide in or out without using the plus or minus sign right there. So I always prefer to be on 100%, so I keep it as that by the pool. All right, so that's, that's that for this one. So the, the last one is the vertical and the horizontal scroll bar. Of course, when you look by the side here, you're going to see the um, the scroll bar. This one is the vertical sc scroll bar. And if you look down here, you're going to see the back, um, the horizontal um, scroll bar. So you can choose to scroll to wherever you want to. or uh, all that the same thing with the vertical scroll bar you can choose to scroll down and up depending on what you want to do you can actually adjust the scroll bar the horizontal scroll bar if you want it to be big if you want it to be small whatever you want to do here you can do that okay so that's that is it for uh the excel interface in in the subsequent lessons we will start looking at the uh, formulas and functions and all that okay so thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can please like the video and share the video. If you have any question, please leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to answer it. So thank you so much and have a lovely day. Bye.